Hey there guys, welcome back to Nimby Rails. We've, over time, finished finally the track work on Manhattan Island. So you can see we've got all these, quite a lot of it is still blueprints at the moment because the money situation isn't brilliant. But I've got the lines all built out to where they leave Manhattan on every side. So that's a start. The problem is, that doesn't actually mean that there's any more lines I could actually start setting up. It's still only the one route, I think, that I can do. If I have a look at this this map, this is the, this is the useful map. I've got all of the ends of lines up in the north. So I've got the northern end of the A, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, D, and B, and 3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, B, D at the northern end. And C, because C's there. So 1 through 6 and A through D. However, at the southern end, only the 1 ends on Manhattan Island. E ends on Manhattan Island, but we don't have the northern end of that. That's over there. J and Z end on Manhattan, but they they start outside on the west. And the same with the 7 and the L, they start over on the... Uh, uh, when I said west, I meant east. Over on the east. Um, the, the 2, 3, 4, 5 all go off. We could do the 6, I guess. The 6 ends at Chambers Street. And we do have the northern end of that. So we do... There is one more line we can set up. Um... But not today, because that, that needs some preparation, and I haven't done that. Um, I need to set up another spreadsheet to do that. But okay, I hadn't realised that there was actually another line I could set up. Anyway, the plan for today, I think, is going to be starting to go out, out to the east. The question is, which line? I mean, there's something to be said for the 7, on the basis that it's a bit disconnected from everything else, and so it's... In theory, quite a simple one to set up. Or, coming down to the south in Coney Island. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking that's probably going to be the last stuff we do. There's a lot of lines that end down there. And I'm now realising I can't... Oh no, ignore me. Yeah, there's a lot of lines that end down here, and going out down here would be useful, but I'm tempted by the 7. And coming out this way also means I've got the E, which I've already got the other end of down here at World Trade Centre. So if I can get it all the way out to Jamaica Centre, then that finishes that line. Then also the F, M, R, N and W, which I don't think are going to be nearly as useful. Uh... NQR and W will go off Manhattan again. F and M, uh, they both come off in different places. But yeah, I think the the best thing to do is to start at the top, work our way out to Jamaica, then come back in down the J and Z, and bring the M on, and bring those across. Add in the L, and then um, the A, the blue, and then we do all the stuff down at Coney Island last. I suspect is going to be the best bet. So, having said that, which of these four tunnels do we start with? <laughs> the F, the NWR, the EM, or the 7? I'm quite tempted by the 7. So, if we go to our track diagram map thing, we can see this is where and the brightness on this monitor could do with some adjustment. This is where the 7 comes under the river, and its next stop is Vernon Boulevard by the looks of things, and this map would agree. So, we then come on here. I'm pretty sure it's come from, yeah, it's come from 42nd Street, Grand Central there, coming under Burnham Boulevard. So let me look at this map. 
And this one... I've lost Grand Central, there it is. We're in the Steinway Tunnel. And Vernon Boulevard is there. So... To me, that junction area of roads... I'm not sure how clear this is on, on the recording. Is this area. So Vernon, Vernon Boulevard is there. So let's get some track out. Start building. Medium speed. Probably... What height do we want to be at? We're going over the green. Actually, we're going over quite a lot. Yeah, we probably only want to be at minus one here. Um, and I need it to be double track. And the platforms are helpfully on the outside this time. Select it. I'm going to change the station label to name only. Disable platform keep straight. Apply that. And that should be enough. I then also need to change the name. Uh, Vernon Boulevard Jackson Ave. There's possibly some sort of more formatting there, but doesn't appear to be. It may be a dash. Every every map I have has different names for each station. <laughs> different formatting standards. So it's just choosing one that makes sense. Alright, and then it's just a matter of... The tunnel is meant to be practically straight. So there we go. This station is way too long, so we'll just shrink that down a bit. The next stop is Hunter's Point Avenue, it's just around the corner. But what does just around the corner mean in this, in this existence? I think it's there. Is it? No, it's there. Is it underground? Yes, it's just in the tunnel. Um, this is becoming complicated. So that road there, that diagonal, is this one, Jackson Avenue. So we need to come along. That is that. And we're coming out there by the looks of things. Maybe a bit further up. Okay, let's let's put a station in. That's a that's a start. There we go. Now I've got something at least. We can say name only apply disable that. I've got to rename it because that is definitely not the right name. Hunter's Point Avenue. Get the track from over here. Bring it along. And then we're going to go up to ground level as we come out. I'm just going to neaten that up and make it so the station's actually long enough. Go for 180 meters. There we go. I'm going to assume that this is in close enough to the right, the right place. This popping out, like the, that road there. Okay, so I kind of, I kind of got to get four tracks in. Hmm, okay, maybe it needs to be a bit further up there then. Got to get a reasonable amount in that space, all things considered. That'll do. Um, this is going to go up onto a viaduct. And then... So it wraps around Court Square is the next station. Where all sorts stops. 
And on some lines, it might be called Court Square 23rd Street. <laughs> um, okay, the question is, where is that? So, it looks like it's up here somewhere. Looks like it's on that junction. So there's one. Then we need the... There's a line down there. And there's one over here. Uh, sort of there-ish. This is going to be very difficult. This one is actually meant to be at minus two. We're going to call it Court Square 23rd Street. Um, I'm going to make it a name label. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to minimize that. Disable platform keep straight. Hopefully the green is an island platform. Um, so that means it needs a parallel offset of 10. And is pretending to be a different station at the moment, which is just what you want. So, back up to plus one. There we go, I've made it all one station. <laughs> so this comes round into there. That's sorted. It goes out that way. The blue comes along here. That could be a little bit straighter. And then the green's down there. It gets very complicated in a second, so I'll come back to that. We're going to work backwards a little bit. Because I feel like now we're here. I need to put in the 21 Street station on the green line, and I might as well connect the blue up across the uh, across the river. Actually, I assume that's the uh, blue line, 51 Street Lexington Avenue. Yes. Okay. Just going to bring it across there. So it had a crossover here. And then I think there's also a crossover on the 7 that I've got to go back to do. So we'll go and have a look at that in a second. Um, yes, just after the end of the tunnel. Helpful. That's not an ideal place to try and put one, but... I'll work with it. There is actually plenty of room there to fit it in. There we go. Right, green. So 21 Street is... That's not what I wanted to do. Down here. So that's there. Really, we need to be down at minus two now, because we need to go underneath the purple, but we'll stay on minus one for the station. Oh, why are you not doubled? Shrink that a little bit. Apply, disable, and an offset of ten. Then the name is going to be 21 Street. Nice and simple. And bring that along here and plug it into the station. Then it looks like there's a center line 
So that will come along there. I'll parent it off of there. Adjust that slightly. There we go. And off of there onto there. That's one end done. Then we just have to do the other end. This will be some sort of siding, I imagine. Turn back trains. Although I haven't looked at the timetable, so I have no idea if it's actually used. Judging by the fact it's coloured rather than black, I would assume it is. Um, right. Do I want to extend the green down a bit? Not really. What I might just do is put in... I think it probably goes over that bridge, but oh, it doesn't. Does it? It doesn't. It comes through here is what it does, so I'll put in track from there. Just so we've got it out of the mess of tangled track that's going on here. Just dip down and under. The seven. And shift that in to make the platform shorter. There we go. Okay. All that bit is done. Now the mess begins. So if we start by looking at the base map, <laughs> we've just done Court Square, which is here. If I zoom in a bit more. There's now multiple junction stations where all the lines sort of interweave over and under each other. Or well, that mess, I just motioned at my screen, and obviously you can't see that. <clears throat> So the question is, where's best to start? Obviously, we were doing the purple line. And that probably is the simplest way to start this. Um, yeah, I think getting the purple line in and then out immediately. Because that means we can then just carry on with it. And come back to the others at a later date, because that is a mess. I've already had a look at the um, the in-depth diagram for that junction multiple times. And it does take some effort to get your head around it. So, yes, I suspect the best bet initially is going to be keep following the purple round. So, Greensboro Plaza. This station. So, where is that? Well, it's on top of a big boulevard sort of thing. The line comes up here and curves in, so the station's there-ish. Um, hopefully there's going to be two heights to this. So we're going to have one, and then another one up on plus two. Both of these are going to have keep straight disabled and an offset of 10 and name only and we're going to name it Queensborough Plaza okay then I'm going to parent that off there and make the one of these, that one, 2.5. Strictly speaking, they're meant to be directly on top of each other, but we can't actually use them if that's the case, because we can't reach specific nodes. So by putting them 2.5, they're close enough to on top of each other. Right, next step. Bring this line up. This is the purple 7 line. And the left track goes under, I do believe. That appears to be the case. 
that is the underneath track. And that is the on top track. And we'll parent those off each other like so. I'm wondering, obviously we can see there's a crossover on the upper tracks there. Do you reckon there's a similar crossover on the lower tracks? I'm not sure how we'd tell. We need to go and see if there's a diagram up here, I guess. Is there a Greensboro Plaza diagram? I'm not seeing one that would obviously be it. Um, it's basically the... it's just purple and yellow. So you look for combinations of colours. Well, there's not a lot of purple here. Yeah, I'm not seeing the diagram it would be, so... We just have to guess. I suspect I would be able to see something if there was one underneath. Um, there doesn't appear to be extra tracks marked on open railway map, although this isn't the most trustworthy source. <laughs> anyway, we need the yellow line, and that's coming in from over there. Where's its next station up? A while away. But oh, literally the other side of the river. Okay, we've got some time then. So the yellow line is going to be coming in at plus one as well. To there. And the bottom track goes on top, if that makes sense. Or, in other words, the top track stays at minus one and goes underneath. Then I will parent those off each other. There we go. Um, do I want to do this junction? I kind of do. Whereabouts is it? Oh, we don't dive into the tunnel until sort of there-ish. So we've got some time to work with. Probably just want to be down at minus one, honestly. Don't think we need to be any lower than that. I'm just going to drag that out a little bit. I feel like it should be a bit further away from the boulevard than it is. Connect these up quickly. Then, while we're still on the bridge, there's a crossover. So we'll put that in here. Uh... There's one, and the other. That'll do. Then underneath, when we're still in the tunnel, there's a split there. And there. That one parents from that, flipped, and that one parents from that, flipped. And then that parents from that, flipped and 15 metres. And then this goes somewhere. I know, that's, that's very informative, that statement. 
Um, I honestly don't know where. Probably needs to go down though. Where does it actually cross? Not there. The other one, it comes across over here. Oh, we've got loads of space then. Okay, you can stay at 20. Um, actually, it wasn't 20, that was 15. coming down there. I don't really know where it's meant to end up. But on that road by the looks of things. I'll leave it there for now. That'll do. Uh, right, Queensborough Plaza. That's the point we got to. Um, okay, this is going to be a bit complicated. I think I'm going to put that yellow line up on plus three just to go over everything. But let's have a look at the diagram over here that tells me info. It is over here. It's just working out which one it is. Um, I think it's this one, the 36th Street interlocking. Which doesn't actually include the bit I'm currently looking at. Uh, okay. Is there another one? So 36th Street interlocking is that bit. There's another bit though. Or is it just seen as that's clear enough? It's definitely not. <laughs> um, oh, I've lost it again now. Where is the 36th Street interlocking gone? There. That's where it is. There's, there's another bit here. They're just ignoring it. Where does that orange that's coming in come from? That is a separate line, right? Yeah, that's that bit. Coming in from underneath. I've got a whole other bit on top. That is far from clear what's going on. Yet we appear to just be of the opinion that we don't need a diagram for it. Um, oh, here's Queensborough Plaza. This is what I needed. Yeah, it is just a crossover on the top. Well, at least I found that one. Oh yeah, Mansion, I've received some comments about that. Um, I'm really not seeing the one I need now, though. The problem is I have no idea what it would be called. Which doesn't help. 36th Street interlocking is definitely most of it. It just appears to be missing a bit. Honestly, quite a key bit. Well, I guess we'll have to just guess. Um, I mean, the orange line, is this all out in the open? No, literally everything else is in a tunnel. Hold up then, is this just overlaid? There's not actually any connection. Oh, it is as well. Oh, that's why it's not on the map then. It's just on top. <laughs> There's no actual connection between the two. Okay. It doesn't matter what height this is at then, because everything else is in a tunnel. It could just be at minus one, uh, plus one. Just the height I prefer things to be at. So. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, it looks like it comes over here and then round, rather than following that road. If I start there, 
bring it down and then bring it round to there. That will do for now. The top line is the one underneath, yes. Underneath. Sixty-five. That's nowhere near long enough. Track those out a little bit. That's better. Okay, and that can come round. Then we've also got. the purple which is going to come down here I assume and that line goes underneath this line comes up on top that is plus two those two are both plus two there to give us some more space for this crossover which comes out of there and out of there and you probably can't see that actually and across there and across there there we go, I think that's done <laughs> I think that's Queensborough Plaza now the logical next step would be to deal with um, this situation but I think not right this second. <laughs> How long have I actually been going for? Could be another question. I have no idea. Uh, maybe that is the best thing to do, just to get it done. Uh, just to get Queen's Plaza in. Yeah, let's get Queen's Plaza in quickly. It goes here. Ish. Alright, tracks minus one. We're going to need two island platforms. Let's just build those quickly. Parent there, parent there. Selected all, apply name only, disable platform, keep straight, a parallel offset of 10, except for those ones which are a parallel offset of 5. Um, weird platform name. I don't want to auto no auto name the platforms. It's the station name I want. Queen's Plaza, which I still can't spell. That will go there. Not really won't actually. It will go up there. Okay. What I might also do just for now is to turn off. <laughs> Turn off elevated tracks. <laughs> um, just so I can see what I'm doing a bit more. So. That's the station. We then have a four track situation over here. Which I'm managing to mess up completely. Offset 10. Offset 10. And then I need to change the outer ones. 15. Remove constraint. 15. There we go. Four tracks. Done. Who'd have thought that would be so difficult? Um, then I just need to connect that up to the station. like not there actually on the node thank you like so simple okay that's done step one complete the four tracks are going to continue down this way a little bit 
just just that far for now, because that gives me enough space to put some crossovers in. So we have a crossing here. That's going to need some adjustment. There we go. On the other side, it's just a new line appearing. And that needs to go down to minus two. I'm going to parent it off that. Then here, we also have a new line appearing. Which needs to go down to minus two. Is that at minus two? Yes, good. So that can come this way. And we're going to have that wrap around there, and this one wrap around underneath to there. Right, that's that sorted. <laughs> Then down here, the outer two tracks stay at minus one, the inner two go down to minus two. And connect up to that. And like so. Then two at minus one. They come along here, this needs to go out to an offset of 15 now. and they connect up to the outer two. Okay, I think that's done. If I then turn on the layer again, you can see everything. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, and that's only half of it. But I think I'll leave it there for now. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more, and I'll catch you in the next one.